horseshoe for good luck. Anybody here? Over here, buddy. Uh, uh oh, Mr. Repairman. Please don't stare at the merchandise. Why? What did I do? It's faces like yours that stop clocks, buddy. Well, none of us is perfect. You can say that again. What can I do for you? Well, I'd like a new crystal for my watch. Yeah, that's a weirdo. Let me take a look at it. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Well, what's the matter? What are you doing? You need a new watch. Why, all that's broken is the crystal. It's old style, outdated, passe. Nobody wears all the numbers anymore. Why, this watch isn't even shockproof. Here, I'll show you. Listen, this watch was given to me by my grandfather. It's an heirloom. OK, I'll fix the crystal. But I'm telling you for your own good, get a new watch. I could give you one with just four numbers on it. I don't need one. When will it be ready? In a few short weeks. So long? So long. What do you mean you give me a watch with just four numbers on it? Just four numbers. Twelve, three, six, and nine. You got one with eight numbers on it? We got four numbers and ten numbers. What's the one with ten numbers? The twelve and six are left out. How much is that? Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? What do you think I am, a millionaire? <laughs> what do you got in the clock? How much money you got? Thirty dollars. I've got just the thing for you. A nice cuckoo clock. But all I got is thirty dollars. That's all right. The cuckoo's dead. Oh, that's too bad. We got a sparrow in its place. But a sparrow don't make no noise. I'm a heavy sleeper. It'll take more than a sparrow to wake me up. How would you like it if I put an eagle on top of the clock? An eagle? A baby eagle. Who's gonna feed him? You are. Listen, buddy, the eagle alone sells for 30 bucks ordinarily. But for me? You could have the whole thing, the clock and the eagle, for 40 bucks. But I only got $30. I'll trust you. You got my watch. That's why I'll trust you. Okay, but I'm a heavy sleeper. The only thing that really wakes me up in the morning is a cold shower. Now, how's a baby eagle gonna do that? It's simple. The eagle will swoop down, pick you up bodily, fly you into the bathroom, drop you in the tub, and turn on the shower. Hey, that's... Great, just like a servant. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Uh, where's the eagle? 
here. Why, he looks like a sparrow. It's a baby eagle. It'll grow bigger. You mean this thing's gonna grow up to lift me out of bed? That's right. In a few short weeks, he'll be a monster. He's got powerful talons. Show him those talons. Ow! Ow! Uh, all right, I'm convinced. Uh, I'll see you in a few short weeks. You'll never regret it. glad to welcome back a satisfied customer. I want my watch back. Why? The eagle's too weak. He keeps picking me up and dropping me. Look, I'm a mess. He just hasn't got the strength to make it. Maybe you're not feeding him right. Too many starches. I want my watch back. Wait a minute. I've got just a thing for you. A special eagle food packed with vitamins guaranteed to transform him into a virtual Hercules. That'll be a buck thirty-five. Well, I I'd like to test it first. That's your privilege, friend. There you are. Okay, Eagle. Now, let's see you pick up the man. No! No, no! Hey! hey. <laughs> uh. I still say this clock's a goodbye. Goodbye? can find a friend in the forest today. Must be a wind coming up. Gee, it's getting stronger and stronger. Wow, it must be a storm coming. For goodness sake, it's a giant who's <sighs> causing all the wind with his sighing. Whoop, a ghost. Wow, his hollering has caused a landslide. Don't be scared. Oh, I'm not scared. It's just that I got snow down my neck. Jeepers. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. My name's Hugo. I, I was sighing because I'm... I'm lonesome. I've got some wonderful animal friends who can cure your loneliness. Well, that sounds just dandy. I'll go ahead and tell them you're coming. Hi, friends. I've got a surprise for you. We're going to have a guest. <coughs> Who? 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 There he is now. A giant. But he's very friendly. Couldn't he stay here for a while? W yes, uh, why not? All of a sudden, I'm tired. Uh, uh, do you have a house uh, big enough for me to sleep in? Uh, no. I know, Hugo. You can sleep in that big cave. Thanks, fellas. Well, it's time we went to sleep, too. We'll never sleep with all that racket going on. Let's turn him on his side. Easy does it. 
He's quiet now. I guess we won't get much rest tonight. He twitches in his sleep. I don't know if it was such a good idea bringing him here, Casper. That giant kept a twitching and a snoring. Uh, now for my morning exercises. One, two, three, four, five. There goes my house. Now I'm hungry. You wait here, Hugo. We'll bring you some food. Thank you, Casper. We'll have to get a lot of fruit and berries to feed him. I guess so. <laughs> Have you had enough breakfast, Hugo? Oh, well, I always eat a light breakfast. Uh, uh, but lunch and dinner, that's when I really eat. Casper, you wear us out fetching food for him. We'll run out of food for ourselves. We can't sleep. And besides, he might step on us. Casper, get rid of that giant. <laughs> you don't like me. <laughs> Help! It's a flood! Casper, do something. Stop him from bawling. Gosh, I'll have to do something or I'll lose all my friends. Please, Hugo, stop crying. They weren't talking about you. They weren't? Well, I thought they were. No. Gee, I feel so glad. Uh, let me fix your house, Mr. Rabbit. There, it's all fixed. Help! Help! The lumberjacks are coming! Oh, no! How awful! They'll cut down all the trees! That sounds bad. Real bad. Which one should we start with? Look! A giant! You were expecting maybe Tom Thumb? Yeah! I did good, huh, Casper? Uh, uh, tell me I did real good. You did good. Real, real good. Just the way a giant should. We, we love, love you so! Junior! You come home this very instant. That's my mama calling me. Uh, uh, goodbye now. I I'm coming, mama! You shouldn't have run off from giant land like that, you naughty boy! Gee, I'm sorry, Mama. Nice boy, that, Hugo. But I guess you're all kind of glad he's gone. <laughs> Casper, Hugo was the nicest person you ever brought us. <laughs> oh, well. I guess you just can't please all of the people all of the time.
is it nice to shriek or boo? Gentlemen, that is his plea. It's as plain as plain can be. Casper is not one of us. Punish him. Indeed, you must. You've heard the evidence, and so bring in your verdict, guilty or no. Casper is guilty. We all agree of friendship in the first degree. As a ghost, you're a disgrace. Your sentence is life with a human race. And stay out, you friendly ghost. I'm going where I can enjoy life and make friends. <laughs>
A dime? I'll have a cup of coffee. Jonah, don't waste that dime on a cup of coffee. Run it up into some real dough. No, thanks. I'm no gambler. I was born on Friday the 13th, and I've had nothing but bad luck all my life. Finding that dime proves that your luck has changed. Come on. Win yourself something worthwhile. A whole meal. A whole meal? Oh, why did I ever listen to you? Oh, boy! A half a buck! Give me a plate of beans! Hey, Jonah, come back! You're just getting started! You blew all your dough. You broke again. That'll be 50 cents. Number 13! But you're in luck. You just won yourself a free meal. Well, now are you convinced this is your lucky day? Look, Jonah, a chance to win a hundred bucks. Can't you understand? I'm no gambling man. just won yourself a hundred dollars. Wow! This is your lucky day. Continuous gambling 24 hours a day. Faro, chuck luck blackjack, bingo, pitching pennies. Jonah, here's your chance to run that hundred bucks up into some real dough. He's going in. Just my luck. A penny for gum, and all I got is this. Er, um, they'd be glad to change that C note in Lucky Louie's. They will? Sixteen on the red wing. All right, place your bets. If you pick the high card, you win ten to one. But if you pick the ace, it's twenty to one. Have you changed of... Twenty to one. What a steal. Bet a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? The man bets a hundred bucks. The house has the jack of spades. Okay, mister. Pick your card. <laughs> and ace. The man wins two thousand dollars. Play it all on the next card. No siree. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. You can't quit now. My money! The winner is 13. Let it ride! He's 13 again. This time I am quitting. You can't walk out on a winning streak. Here's a game they play, strictly for laughs, called the Ramat Dominoes. Dominoes? How do you play that? Here, I'll show you. Just take these uh, dominoes, shake them, then roll them down the table. The man rolls in 11. 11? What does that mean? That means you get another roll. Seven. Mister, you just broke the bank. <laughs> I got enough here to retire for the rest of my life. Nobody walks out on Lucky Louie without giving him just one more chance. My joint against all your dough. Winner take all. Well, well, well winner to take all? Take the bet. This is the break that comes once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime? You got yourself a bet, Lucky Louie. What do you pick, chum? Odds or evens? Now, uh, let me see. Uh, odds uh, or evens? I'll take odds. Uh-uh. No? Pal, have I ever stand you wrong? No. Take evens. I take evens. Oh, great wheel of fortune, don't let me down. I won! I won! Odds, you lose. 
Well, pal, <laughs> you can't win them all. Jeez, what a sore loser. Listen, chum, here's your chance to run that thin dime up into a fat fortune.
did you first start thinking you were a chicken? Mr. Zebra, my name's Casper. How would you like to? Gosh, some animals are so sensitive. I sure wish I could get rid of the toad. <laughs> a peck of trouble. Yeah, Casper. Nobody wants to be... Golly, we've got to figure out a way to stop your sneezing. Do you really think you can? This ought to do the trick.
was this little feather all the time that was making you sneeze, Wheezy? Hooray! I'm never going to sneeze again! I'm never going to sneeze again! I'm never going to sneeze again! I sure was lucky to meet you, Casper. <laughs> Wheezy! <laughs> Quick, Wheezy! You just gotta sneeze and blow out that fire! Thank <laughs> you. 
cubby bear isn't as scared of me. We're gonna be great friends. My name is Casper, and uh, yours is Brownie Bear. Here you are, Brownie. Catch! Gee, Brownie, you're real clever. You know what? I'll train you to be a great juggling bear. That's okay, Brownie. All you need is a little more practice. Brownie is a juggling bear who juggles things up in the air. When he's riding on a hoop, he makes things go loopity-loop. He can balance with his nose, is clever with his paws and toes. Brownie is a juggling bear who juggles things up in the air. What a night for the circus! happy-go-lucky little fellow. No worries, no cares. Life's just for romping and playing with the little creatures of the jungle. Louie! Yes, Father? You're the future king of the jungle. Do you think you can command the respect of the animal kingdom by going around chasing butterflies? Why, our very roar makes the rest of the jungle tremble with fear. I'm getting old, son, and soon you must take over my duties. Be masterful. Act like a king of the jungle. Yes, father. <laughs> Yes, 
Yes, sirree. Responsibilities sure have a way of tying one up into knots. The family tradition must be upheld, and Louis must now prove himself worthy of the position in life that he was born to. I'm going to be king of the jungle. Nobody seems to understand that a lion is supposed to command respect. I'm going to be king of the jungle. Imagine being belittled by a worm. Kingdom. We are gathered here today to crown your new ruler, King Louis! Our 
arriving on nine o'clock plane. Meet me at airport, Gramps. Whoopee! Gramps is coming for a visit. Gosh, I better step on it. Suing my grandson. Why, you little runt, I'll quiet! Yo! Stop that dancing around like a wild Indian when a Texas Ranger is talking to the Texas Ranger. And if you eat out of this territory by sundown, I'm a gonna fill you full of lead. <laughs> Stop your perspiring, son. I can handle that critter. Getting rid of that Texas Ranger ain't gonna be no pushover. Gramps, this is the tallest building in the world. You can see three states from up here. I'm the observation guide, sir. If you want to get a good look at the state of Texas, just follow me. Texas? Well, now you're talking, son. You can see it from this observation platform, sir. Why, I don't see a thing that resembles Texas. <laughs> now I'll take care of you. Those observation platforms are dangerously weak. Now, what other sights would you like to see, Gramps? Hold it, son. There's the only sight worth seeing. Why, I don't see anything but black clouds. It's a jip. A fraud, that is. <laughs> Now, son, the shooting star Texas, big enough to see with the naked eye. This section of the museum has exhibits of early American history. Look, son, there's old Annabelle. Why, I fought her in the Battle of Richmond till she was red hot. Ouch! Son, she ain't cooled off yet. Well, what do you know? My old army headquarters, where I was commander of the fighting 110th. Run for your life, Gramps! Tension! Why, just look at that uniform. You're a disgrace to the whole Confederate army. Uh, b -b 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 Captain, I uh, say sir when you address your superior officer. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Why, I'll have you court-martialed for this. Tension! Forward, march! Up, two, three, four. Prisoner, halt! About face. Firing squad, ready, aim, fire! Remind me to report that man, E-W-O-L. Deserter, that is. Here's one of the most vicious killers of the jungle, Gramps. Shucks, boy. They're as gentle as kittens when you know how to handle them. Huh. You're not 
not so brave after all. Put me, I say, put me down for my hot tempered blood boils over and scalds you to death. <laughs> If you ever come back, you cowardly critter, I'll tack your hide up in my trophy room. So long, Gramps. Anytime you get in trouble with that critter, just let me know. So long, I say so long, son. You dropped your book. Thanks, Sonny. Just place it on the desk. What are you doing, Professor? I'm experimenting with a time machine. Time machine? How does it work? Just set the dial and pull this switch, and the past will appear on that screen. Come here, my lad. I'm ready to demonstrate. People in the past won't be scared of me. for a gentleman to treat a lady. Are you all right, ma'am? I just can't understand women. I hope people will be friendlier in another age. It's Robert Fulton. Consign it. This thing busted steamboat will never wake. Hello, Mr. Robert Fulton.
lucky? See a pin and pick it up, and all the day you'll have good luck. <laughs>
Let's get old 99 rolling. things. I gotta relax. My knives are getting me. And the majestic splendor of Niagara Falls is truly an amazing sight to behold. like a mouse, Doc. <clears throat> Young man, you are a victim of mousetrophobia. Mousetrophobia? Correct. You, you, you mean I'm going nuts, Doc? I ain't got all my marbles? Precisely. Oh, save me, Doc! Save me! Well, you can return to normal by making amends to those poor little mice you've treated so shamefully. I'll do it! I'll do anything! Confucius, say. Eh? There is more than one way to skin cat. Come on, Hyman! Rock it and roll it! Baba ba bee boo! Hey, Cat, now pop out some more track. Okay, fellas. More track coming up. Huh? I think I smell a mouse. Gotcha! Uh-oh. <laughs> Try to drive me goofy, huh? <laughs> Confucius, eh? 
That cat's real gone.
Tish, Tish. A wish is a wish. Tell him about your poor little flowers. But, Mr. Rainmaker, my flowers need showers. Oh, April on the hill. 